y'all. I'm Tenby. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about perfume, skincare, and lifestyle. Over the years, I've gotten a lot of questions about my skincare routine. So today I'm going to go into my nighttime skincare routine and I'll show you how I went from this to this. I have oily skin and I deal a little with hyperpigmentation and dehydration. Plus, I'm 39 years old, so I'm aging. And those are the things that I focus on in my skincare routine. When I'm wearing makeup, I start with makeup wipes. I just use a general makeup wipe from Neutrogena, nothing special. I know that a lot of people do not like the idea of using makeup wipes, but hear me out. I use them as a first step before oil cleansing because I don't like the idea of slathering makeup all over my face with oil. So I just take the makeup off first. Now I go into oil cleansing. Right now I'm using Clinique's Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. I oil cleanse pretty much every day, regardless of whether I'm wearing makeup or not. I do wear sunscreen every day, so oil cleansing, number one, helps make sure that all of that is removed. Plus, it helps get rid of other impurities that I may come into contact with throughout the day. I use white washcloths to dry my face. I keep a basket of these so that every time I wash my face, I can use a fresh, clean one. Next cleansing step, I use Tula's Purifying Face Cleanser. This is my go-to cleanser for both my morning and my nighttime routines because it cleanses without leaving my skin feeling stripped. Plus it nourishes my skin with probiotics and other skin loving ingredients. As you can see, I put the cleanser on without water first and this is just to kind of let it do its thing for a minute. Then I go in with a cleansing brush. I got this little brush on Amazon for about $20 years ago. I can't find the exact model on Amazon anymore but I can find replacement heads, so I haven't replaced it yet. I know that the use of facial brushes is a bit controversial in the skincare community, but for me, it is a must. This was the first step that I introduced into my skincare routine that helped me see a major reduction in the amount of breakouts I was getting. I have experimented over the years and tried to take it out just to see if it really worked. My face did not love that, so it definitely stays. So to all of that, I will say, Find what works for your skin and do that. For many people, this step is too much agitation and it will lead to a lot of irritation and other skincare problems. As for me and mine, we love it over here. Now we move into my mask. Tonight I am using Pharmacy's Honey Potion Plus. I love this mask because it is super hydrating, it nourishes the skin, and it helps strengthen your skin's moisture barrier. As you rub the mask on your face, it turns into a white cream and it warms up so it's very soothing on your skin and it feels amazing. Masking isn't a step that you need to do every night. Most people can get away with maybe one to two nights per week. I do mask every night and I alternate mainly between hydrating and detoxifying masks. But this is more for the sake of consistency than anything. Because of my ADHD, if I don't mask every night, then I'll just go weeks without masking. So I just add these 10 to 15 minutes and reap the benefits. Now we go into toning and I am using the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Toner. Y'all, this toner is everything. I discovered it about six years ago and I have not changed my toner since and I don't plan to. It has rose extract and hyaluronic acid. So as the name suggests, it's extremely hydrating while it's still doing a good job at balancing and toning your skin. After I let the toner soak in, I move on to my essences. Right now I am using Tatcha the Essence. This essence has a combination of Japanese superfoods that are proven to hydrate, resurface, soften, and plump your skin. Essences are water-based products with a high concentration of active ingredients that are used to hydrate and boost the overall health of your skin. Adding essences was a big game changer for me because it plumped up my skin and made it less dull, giving me the hydration that I desperately needed. In a later video, I'll go into the difference between dehydrated skin and dry skin because there is a difference. Now we get into some lip care. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy. I used this before applying a lip balm to hydrate and smooth out my lips because using a lip balm by itself does absolutely nothing for me. Now we move into my serums. First up is Pharmacy's Feeling Good Plumping Serum. This has hyaluronic acid and collagen boosting ingredients that help plump up your face. I use this one in the morning and at night. Next up is my Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. This has a stabilized blend of retinoids and botanicals to help combat the signs of aging. 
I started incorporating retinoids and retinols in my routine around my mid-30s and I pay special attention to it now as I'm inching closer to 40. I'm throwing in a snapshot here of the other serums that I use. I rotate these throughout the week so that I don't overdo it with any one ingredient. I also wanted to note that adding AHAs and BHAs to my routine helped drastically reduce the amount of breakouts that I was getting and they really helped to improve the texture and tone of my skin. Now we get into my eye care with Olay's Regenerous Retinol 24 Max Night Eye Cream. Dark circles around my eyes are a major concern for me. It's partially due to dehydration, so this helps with that, plus it smooths out any fine lines I have around my eyes. Next, I moisturize. I am using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. I don't use a lot of heavy moisturizers because they tend to break me out, so this one is very light and good for several skin types. It has really good ingredients that help maintain the skin's moisture, addresses signs of aging, and strengthens the skin barrier to protect against free radicals and other irritants. My lip serum has absorbed at this point, so now I can put on my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is basically an intense lip balm that you put on overnight so you wake up with nice, juicy, plump, soft lips in the morning. My final step, I am sealing with my Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil. Using an oil at the end of your skincare routine will help seal in all of the goodness and love that you just gave your skin. Marula oil in particular is rich in antioxidants and omega fatty acids, so it nourishes, balances, and adds to the skin's protective barrier. Here are a few clips so you can see what my skin looks like up close and personal. I do still get occasional breakouts and I have some areas of uneven skin tone. My skin is by no means perfect, but overall, I love what I'm working on. So, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!